welcome back to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckrude, and today I'm going to be talking about something that was actually kind of asked for, highly recommended. I'm not really sure. I've been reading your comments, and I have seen quite a number of them asking me if I have pirate stories. Now, Pirates themselves aren't really cryptids. We know they existed. We know that they have tales and folklore. So I decided to do a little bit of research and found out some more folklore of my own. Now, what we are going to be talking about here today is the Fiji mermaid. Now, We've all heard of mermaids. We love them. They are near and dear to our heart. Mermaids like Ariel and all of her sisters. I know there are plenty of others. I remember you could get Barbie as a mermaid. The list goes on and on and on. So what is it about these mystical creatures, these sirens that really bring you in and make you want to understand who and what they are? Now, traditional folklore of a mermaid there are two stories. Either they were super helpful and they helped guide you to where you needed to go when you were trapped in large storms, or they were actually the sign of your tragedy. Yes, that is right. Most of the time people feared mermaids and actually warned you against seeing them. Now, where this comes into play with the Fijian mermaid is actually something very interesting. Now, what they have discovered over time is that these legends of mermaids were actually, and very potentially, a normal thing. They are something called a dugong, and no, I am not talking about the Pokemon. Now, there is also the potential that they were people affected with Sirenomalia, which is basically a very, very rare and obscure disease that causes your legs to fuse together in the womb before you are born. Therefore, you have some form of either a solid leg or fin-like feet at the bottom, but your legs are one solid piece. So as time developed, that is what was become to be mistaken for mermaids. But the very first case of a Fijian mermaid was actually all the way back in 1822. Now I'm sure you guys have all heard of P.T. Barnum. I know I have. He basically set the tone for every circus ever. P.T. Barnum's curiosity cabinet was a staple, especially in European and American culture, and you just wanted to see, you wanted to know what he had. One of his colleagues back in 1822 of all times brought back this Fijian mermaid. It was stored in the curiosity cabinet for a number of years. It was actually rented out for a sum of $12.50 a week. Of course, it has been replicated multiple times over the years. Ripley, believe it, Ripley's Believe It or Not also had their version of the Fijian mermaid. And there was just a lot of questions surrounding this cryptid, this thing. So P.T. Barnum actually had this mermaid for a number of years, starting in 1822 until the 1860s, when his museum was actually burnt down to the ground and he lost everything. What was left of it is actually now in the attic of the archaeology department at Harvard. Um, and it's never going to be seen again, ever at all. Of course, the story was that P.T. Barnum's co-worker had actually caught the Fijian mermaid while out on a fishing trip at some point and brought it back for the purpose of putting it in the cabinet of curiosities. However, there is actual documented evidence that it was bought for $6,000 from somebody in the ocean and it was brought back to the United States for this exhibit. Now, 
I'm sorry, but when you look at pictures of this Fijian mermaid, and I'll pop them up on the screen here, it doesn't look real to me. It looks like they said it has been thought of as a hoax for years. Yes, it has been thought to be a monkey sewn to the body of a fish and covered in paper mache. Honestly, I can see it, and I hope you guys too. But that doesn't stop the Fijian mermaid from being something and actually being a thing. Now, basically the term of a Fijian mermaid is coined to describe anything that isn't actually really a mermaid. Something that might be passed off as a mermaid or try to be convinced as one, but isn't. We will never actually know if these true mermaids, these sirens of the deep actually exist until we act, we catch one. I mean, really start casting your nets out there. But one thing is definitely certain, pirates and sailors alike feared these creatures with a great intensity. I want to hear your stories about mermaids. If you have any local legends about mermaids, I would love to hear them and maybe I'll even feature one here on the channel. This one is just kind of a broader topic about a mermaid, but I want to know if there's like hardcore mermaid culture in your area, please tell me. Please. I do want to actually know. All of that being said, I have a couple of things to remember to mention for you guys. You can check out Spaced Out Radio's archives for free here on YouTube as well as spacedoutradio.com. Also, do not forget that you can join our Space Travelers Club. That is right, for the price of one Starbucks coffee a month, you can join in and you can have live chat with us during the show access to forums, as well as a ton of other really cool features. And on top of that, you can also check out all of our merch that is now available in the SOR shop. So go ahead, get yourself a t-shirt. Let me know which one you think is the best right now. I'm going to be making a Cryptid Tales t-shirt so you can get one of my shirts, hopefully in the future. Other than that, a huge shout out to Ron Bumblefoot Thal for providing our music for every single Spaced Out Radio show that we do for you guys, my show included. And do not forget to check out my social media, Dave's social media, and all of the Spaced Out Radio team. Everybody's links are down below in the bottom section. That is everything for me today, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>